So far, we have learned the reasons for a timing difference and their adjustments in the bank reconciliation statement. Let us move on to the second reason for differences that occur. What are the differences arising due to errors and omissions? While recording the entries, errors may occur in both the cash book as well as the passbook. A bank may rarely commit an error, but if it does, the balance shown in the passbook will naturally differ from that shown in the cash book. Similarly, if an error is committed in the cash book, then too, the balance shown in it will differ from that of the passbook. What could these errors be? The errors that may occur while recording in the cash book and passbook are usually errors that would be committed by a person passing the entry. These errors typically are 1. Omission of entry Example, check deposited in the bank account, not entered in the cash book. Second, recording of a wrong amount. Example, rupees 3849 recorded as rupees 8349. Third, recording of entry on the wrong side of the book. Example, check received rupees 5000 recorded on the credit side of the cash book. Fourth, wrong totaling of the account. Example, page total erroneously written as rupees 3561 instead of rupees 3661. Fifth, error committed by the bank by recording transactions of other customers in a different bank account instead of the respective account of that customer. Example, recording transactions of Aminash in the bank account of Vijay. Will the reasons for differences always be given? No. It is not always that the reasons for the differences are given. In some cases, an extract of the cash book and the bank's passbook is given. And the reasons for the differences have to be determined by analyzing the entries appearing in both these books. How to reconcile these differences? When causes of differences are known, then reconciliation can be done by starting with the balance of any of the books. Given the causes of disagreement, the balance of the other book can be either more or less on account of the said causes. If the balance of the other book is more on account of the said causes, then add the amount to the starting balance. If the balance on other side is less on account of the said causes, then subtract the amount from the starting balance. For example, if the reconciliation starts with the debit balance as per the cash book and there is a check deposited in the bank but not cleared, then on account of non-clearance of the check, the credit balance of the passbook would be less. In this case, the amount of check should be subtracted from the cash book balance to arrive at the balance as per the passbook. Similarly, after making all the adjustments, the balance as per the other book is obtained. If we start from the debit balance of cash book and after all the adjustments, the balance arrived is positive, then the balance is known as credit balance as per the passbook and if the balance is negative, it is said to be debit balance as per the passbook and vice versa. Let us look at a solved example. So far, we learned how to reconcile the two books when the causes for the differences are given. But what if the reasons for the differences are not known? If the cause for the difference is not known, then we have to compare the debit entries of cash book with the credit entries of the passbook and vice versa. The entries which cannot be matched with the corresponding entry in the other book are the causes of differences in the balances of both the books. Once these causes are located, their effects on both the books are analyzed and then the reconciliation statement is prepared to arrive at the actual bank balance. In this procedure, we must first check whether the opening balance of both the books are the same or not. If opening balances are not same, then the reconciliation is divided into two categories. That is, one, 
relating to the reconciliation of opening balance and other relating to the reconciliation of closing balance. The process of reconciliation however remains the same.